The NFT sector has seen some crazy growth. With the sale of NFTs making up the vast majority of Ethereum gas fees, it's clear to see that NFT investors are as bullish as ever. Recently, an investor paid $1.3 million for a clip art image of a rock. Although many people laugh and claim that this is a clear sign that NFTs are worthless, that really isn't the case. NFTs are worth something. That picture is worth $1.3 million. Welcome to No Cap Crypto. Today, we'll take a very close look at NFT collectibles and some assets that are set to see insane price swings. This is a hugely speculative sector, but the fact that it's seen continued growth is a clear indication that intelligent investors are seeing huge earnings and profits from their investments. There's a reason to get involved with NFTs. Stick around and pay close attention as we take a very close look at the sort of NFT investment opportunities that you should not be ignoring. The concepts behind NFTs make it a truly valuable blockchain technology. NFTs are permanent. They can't be replicated. They can't be faked and owners can prove their ownership. Although NFTs lend themselves naturally towards the art world, it's clear to see that there exist many, many more use cases to this sort of digital asset. There are a number of different NFTs available, ranging from digital art, music, domain names, and even sports events. However, the vast majority of record-breaking NFT sales, pictures of rocks for millions, virtual land for hundreds of thousands, etc., all deal with the glorious world of NFT crypto collectibles in particular. These collectibles maintain all the classic traits of a collectible, much like owning an original copy baseball card or a first edition print of Harry Potter or something. A golden chair for example. But everyone loves baseball. Everyone knows the multi-billion dollar Harry Potter franchise and the worldwide sensation that's Pokemon. I could draw a picture of myself and mint an NFT, but would that be valued at millions of dollars? The important question to ask is what exactly gives these random NFT entities, collectibles and creators that sort of gusto? That sort of reputation to give a digital asset of that collectible quality such an insanely high valuation? All collectibles, be they crypto-based or otherwise, are based on that idea of supply and demand, with their value resting heavily on the scarcity of the asset. You could head off to a bookstore right now and buy yourself a Harry Potter, but to be able to purchase a first edition, an original print, that's considerably harder to find and would therefore be worth far more money. It's of this concept that the vast majority of NFT-based crypto games and collectible offerings operate on. CryptoPunks, similar file formats with differing traits. Some are more desirable than others. Axie Infinity, axes of many differing traits. Breeding and minting new NFTs, but axes with rarer traits are worth a lot more. This is a perfect application of blockchain technology because random generation like this is provably fair. There would be no faking. You can certify that there only exists 50 CryptoPunks with this hairstyle, for example. CryptoPunks as the first collectible NFT asset on the Ethereum ecosystem is the perfect explanation and textbook definition of the NFT collectible scene. Since hitting the open marketplace in 2017 and since reaching sales figures in excess of $15 million, there have been numerous copycat projects and offerings since. CryptoPunks and all crypto collectibles exercise the concept of provable and engineering rarity. By design, certain traits and characteristics will be rarer and therefore worth more than others. A lot of these collectible projects such as CryptoPunks, the NFT Rocks, and Axie Infinity have been around for years. A few years in crypto is quite a while. But this bullish mentality towards the NFT sector has become increasingly aggressive with some brilliantly fresh and new opportunities popping up every single day. The biggest NFT winner from the previous year was easily the Bored Ape Yacht Club. At the cost of $150 to mint an ape, users were also given additional and exclusive benefits such as buying custom merchandise and holders being granted access to a secret forum amongst other things. Operating on similar crypto collectible technological concepts, the current price floor of Bored Ape Yacht Club assets is currently 34 ETH. That's roughly 100,000 US dollars with news of more and more mainstream celebrities actively joining this extremely exclusive NFT club. Unfortunately, getting in on projects such as CryptoPunks and the Bored Ape Club might be a bit too excessive and out of your price range right now. However, these new projects are a lot more affordable and certainly worth considering. But before we get into that, we need to ask. Hey, are you liking the video so far? If so, I have good news. Make sure you like and subscribe to No Cap Crypto because we release videos like this every week. 
Also, comment below and let us know what you think about the current NFT space and any exciting project you may have come across. Make sure to stay to the end to not miss anything important. The Pudgy Penguins Club launched about two months ago, operating on classic crypto collectible concepts. This project offers users the chance to own one of the 8,888 cute little pudgy penguins and their traits of varying rarities. Hitting the open market back in July, these Penguin NFTs sold out in a record-breaking 15 minutes, one of the most traded collections as of now, having generated around $100 million in total sales volume, with an extremely low mint price and the most expensive penguins being sold for as high as 150 ETH or half a million dollars. The Loot for Adventures project is perhaps the most innovative and exciting NFT-based collectible project we've come across. Although still very much in the early days, there's a lot of buzz around the concept. It very much reminds us of the early days of CryptoKitties, the original NFT-based collectible blockchain game. Each user would have access to randomized adventurer gear, no images or stats which are intentionally omitted for others to interpret, no fees, just the gas and a minting of 8,000 bags in total. Eight completely random items will be stored on the chain. What makes this NFT asset so interesting is the fact that the characteristics of the items minted will vary according to the wallet address that's minting it. These parameters and specifics are largely unknown but a wallet holding millions worth of crypto would roll different traits to another wallet holding exclusively BTC or hundreds of meme coins. The possibilities are truly endless with many crypto analysts claiming this may very well be the future of crypto collectibles across the NFT space. There are countless NFT projects out there and it can certainly be hard to discern which ones are set to see healthy returns on your investments and which ones are set to be ultimately worth nothing. Although the NFT space and crypto collectible subsector are still largely speculative investments, the future certainly seems bright and there's no better time to invest than now. Let us know what you think about today's dive into NFT assets and high quality projects in the comments below. Keep in mind, I'm not a financial advisor and that this video exists purely for educational purposes. Please do your own research and make your own intelligent financial decisions. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on our next video. And I'll see you in the next one.